Hey guys, it's Bree, and you guys know that I have been so, so busy this year filming movies, working, makeup, and making videos for you guys. But I also wanted to kind of get back to my own roots and get into the whole art thing. I started drawing again and I started writing again. I sat down and I wrote a script. I wrote a short movie. And I really wanted to make what was going on in my head a reality. I sort of sat down and of course, you know, I've had a lot, a lot of help on the way. So thank you to everyone who helped write and produce and everyone who's backed me up with this sort of thing. But that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to start making short films and not just have a makeup channel. So I wrote this thing and people always say, write what you know. And what I do know is the restaurant business. Also, I wanted to combine elements that I love from the stage and from this whole artistic world that I've grown up in. One of my favorite shows is called Waiting for Godot by Samuel Beckett. I was in this show when I was in high school and we sort of did a modern day spin on it and I wanted to do something kind of similar. So you guys should totally read the play, <laughs> but if you've not read it, basically it's two people in purgatory and they're waiting. And the theme of it is that you wait. You spend your whole entire life waiting, whether it's waiting on the microwave, waiting for class to end, waiting for a promotion, waiting for the next big thing, waiting in line. You really do spend your whole entire life waiting. So I wanted to take that premise, but make it very actuality. So I put it in a restaurant where people are actually waiting, waiting on tables. And you have four characters rather than two, and they're waiting tables in a restaurant. And I used my actual family's restaurant to film. I had a director come down. I had actors come all over, seriously all over. I had them come as far as New York. And I hired some of my very favorite people, the most dynamic actors I know. And I got in touch with them and I said, please be in my movie. And every single person that I imagined playing these parts when I was writing them actually agreed to be in my crazy short movie. I wanted to make it legit. I didn't, no offense to Shane Dawson, but I didn't want it to be a Shane Dawson kind of short. So I sent it off to the Screen Actors Guild. I actually hired real SAG actors to be in the production and I have a real camera and I had a real camera crew, I had sound, and we literally made it legit from every single level. And this is something I'm so incredibly proud of. And I wanted to show it to you guys. So this is just an intro video sort of explaining and they are in actual purgatory. So I wanted there to be no time. So you'll see little things throughout the video. The lighting changes, the time of day is always changing because I wanted there to be time is the essential, but there is no time at the same point. But that's just what's in my head. I'm going to upload it right after I upload this video. So thank you guys for watching. I would love opinions on the writing, on all the actors. I just want to make good videos. Rather than just making it a makeup channel, I want to do my shorts. And I want all my actor friends in on it. I did the criminal video, which most of you didn't like, because it was showing a different side of me, the more artistic side. And I want to be honest with my viewers. I shared my Hurricane Katrina story, the whole thing about me being homeless. I want to share everything with my viewers. I am completely honest and this is another side of me. Please watch the video following this. If it's not up yet, just be patient. It's going up within the next few hours. So thank you for watching. Links are below if it's already up. See you next time. Rate, comment, subscribe below. Bye!